Due to the controversy surrounded the divided states of hysteria by Howard Shaken last week, which include complaints of a general hatred towards the American nation, explicit scenes of sexual behavior and, inc and violence, including one scene where a transsexual is beaten to death, Image comic publisher Eric Stevenson released this following statement. Fellow Texans, I am proudly standing here to humbly see. I assure you, and I mean it, now says I don't speak out as plain as day. So here's his actual statement. The history of comics isn't exactly filled with political thrillers, but Howard Shaken made his name in the 80s with American Flag, and the divided states of hysteria is very much in that same mold. One of the things I've always admired about Howard's work is his unflinching reluctance to pull any punches, and this series about a society not on the verge, but in the midst of collapse, is no different. And fellow Texans, I'm for progress. And the flag, now may it fly. I'm a poor boy, come to greatness. So it follows that I cannot tell a lie. If you're looking for escapism, this probably isn't the book for you, as its warts and all depiction of the modern world reveals it to be an ugly place, governed by hatred, fear, and intolerance. Rooted in the worst aspects of reality, this is indignant, rebellious fiction designed to make readers both angry and uncomfortable. Ooh, I love to dance a little sidestep. Now they see me, now they don't look up and down. And ooh, I love to sweep around a wide step. Cut a little swat and leave the feet alone. But more than that. It's intended to provoke thought about how and why things have reached a state where the tools for progress, discourse, understanding, cooperation are shunned in favor of treating anyone with an imposing view as an enemy combatant. Now my good friends, it behooves me to be solemn and declare I'm for goodness and for profit and for living clean and sane daily prayer. If the divided states of hysteria prompts just a single productive conversation about the present state of our society, then it has succeeded in its goals and is a story worth sharing. And now, my good friend, you can sleep nights. I'll continue to stand tall. You can trust me, for I promise you I shall keep a watchful eye upon you. This was a statement and not an interview, so no follow-up questions are able to be asked. So I'm going to present them here. Now, all he said in this is, Howard Shaken's a controversial writer and artist and has been for 30 years. That says nothing to what people's concerns are. And my favorite part was him saying, well, if this book starts up one productive conversation, then it's done its job. But how productive can a conversation be when one side is clearly marked as the villain? And in his essay at the back of his book, to just prove the point, he paints Democrats as the innocent ignorance that were just focused on the wrong issues, while the Republicans or conservatives were racist bigots who just wanted to watch the fall of America and see everything burn. His exact words are that we allowed this nihilistic shithead to mainstream and legi legitimize the racist, sexist, bigoted, and flat-out moronic sensibilities that have always been there but were held in check by a common understanding that one does not get away with that shit in America. Well, one does now. And while everybody else were pissing and moaning about hyphenates, the racist got to own the United States of America. So no, the comic book does not create positive or, or productive conversations because it's not trying to. It's trying to rail against one side as being evil. We should not have done that. We have released the evil. And Eric Stevenson has found himself in a harsh situation. I don't blame him really because the creators own their books. However, he felt he needed to say something and instead he went out and said nothing or as the song says, Ooh, I love to dance a little side step. Now they see me, now they 
my daughter come and down and Ooh, I love to sweep around the white step Cut a little swat and leave the people out well, that's my opinion on these things, and I love this musical, and I love that song. What do you think? Uh, was I right, wrong, full of crap, on point? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like these videos, you want to see more, please click like, share, and if you haven't already done it, hit subscribe and that notification bell. I'm setting up Patreon, but for now, all I've got is a VidMe page under the same name, The Grove of Englantine. Just head on over there, hit tip, and uh, please support. Most importantly, thank you very, very much for watching. Ooh, I love to dance, little sax, but...